Hey everyone, this is the DC-59 Animal Cordless Vacuum from Dyson. And I'm just doing a quick video showing you how to replace the battery, find the serial number, uh, take off the canister and that sort of stuff. Uh, the battery on this unit died. Uh, Dyson is sending me a new one under warranty. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of walk you through the process. So basically the first thing you wanna do is take off the uh, the extension piece and the any of the head pieces. Uh, I know my battery died because the the light here is not shining when I charge it, and I have a new charger. And then obviously uh, that doesn't do anything. So uh, first things first, push down this button, and you're gonna that's how you <laughs> open the canister. So make sure you do that over a garbage can first and clear that out, otherwise it can get pretty gross. Uh, then what you do is you hold down this and you pull the canister out. This thing actually comes off. It's gonna be a little hard the first time. And what you're doing is you're going back this way and then give it a little twist. There is a piece right here and that, that's why uh, you can't pull it straight down. You have to go out. Okay, so now the canister's off, and the serial number is right in here on a sticker. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that either. Uh, I figured it'd be on the bottom somewhere. There's a lot of numbers down there. It's not. It's right in there. Okay, and now to take the battery off, it's, uh, it's really simple. There are two screws. Uh, that's your charger port, not a screw. There's a screw right here, and there's a hidden screw right here on the battery and it's at an angle so you can get into it with a screwdriver. It's a Phillips head, uh, so you're gonna need something pretty tiny. I'm not sure if this is really coming through, but uh, it's just a little one that looks like a cross. So, and then uh, I take those screws off. I already did it, save some time in the video. And then the battery will pull right off. And that's the battery pack. Uh, there's nothing on it except for this little button. Uh, and when, the, when it breaks, they'll ask you to push that button a few times and see if anything happens. Uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't. And then here's the, the base unit. Not much more you could do here, except for maybe the filter. Uh, so a good chance to give it a clean. When you are ready to put everything back together, together put the battery pack in. It doesn't really clip in, it just kind of holds itself using uh, a friction mounting. And now, this is a little tricky, uh, so I thought this would be helpful for people. When you're putting the canister back on, you need to get this lip piece, see it extending right there, get that on. So get that in place, look for it, and then clip it in. So again, you're going like, this at an angle and then it, it'll really firmly clip back in and you'll know that everything is back together securely okay well, that's the dc 59 animal although uh, this should hold true for some other dyson cordless vacuums 